everybody, it's Bruce from Nature Calls, and recently I did a video on the first aid kit for backpackers. And it was based on actual data and surveys that were taken about what actually the injuries were and illnesses. So you could build a first aid kit based on that, not just on general first aid kit or whether or not you're going to have to perform surgery out there. Uh, the number one issue for backpackers was uh, blisters. Makes common sense. So the number two issue that backpackers had to deal with out on the trail was things like intestinal issues or actual illnesses. So that's where you would have to deal with diarrhea or uh, constipation or headaches or whatever, you know, so you're really not dealing with actual physical injury, but it's the number two item that, that uh, the backpackers are having to deal with. And so that also comes down to one of the best ways to not have to deal with that is really working hard on your um, sanitation and how well you clean and how, how much you clean up afterwards and, and the people you're hiking with and, and not sharing different items. And, you know, so there's so much that goes into that. About that same time, this company called Potty Packs contacted me and they said they wanted to send me some of their little kits that they, uh, that they put together. And they have this one's SHT kit and this is called the Potty Pack. And uh, this one here is oriented towards, say, backpackers, um, hunters, fishermen. And the potty pack is more oriented towards, say, if you're going to a concert or if you're going to, um, you know, just general have it in your car, you got kids. But each one of these is uh, full of all the things you need to address those items that I was talking about. In the SHT kit, you get four feet of toilet paper. And so that's plenty of toilet paper. And they give you um, this Pure Touch Skin Care Tush Wipes. So these are individual flushable wipes. So once you've gotten done with your business, you clean up that. Then it has the uh, moist towelette for even more cleaning for your hands. And they give you a little uh, plastic bag, like a doggy bag, to put all that in. Now that's becoming a huge problem with the trails, especially around here in the Northwest, there's so many people that are going out there and going to the bathroom and just leaving toilet paper all over the place. They're not burying it properly. They're not even digging holes. I know on the Appalachian Trail, it's become a huge problem. So the whole idea of us starting to have to take out our biological functions is coming around the corner. And like when you go up like Mount Rainier, up one of these glacier mountains, you can't just go to the bathroom on the middle of a glacier. They actually uh, tell you you have to you have to bag it out so they have these things called blue bags and uh, you go to the bathroom on a glacier and then you bag it up and you carry it on out so they provide a nice uh, bag like a toilet paper like a uh, doggy bag and then they give you um, this is like a Purell or alcohol packet so then you get really clean again so you're really really working on the sanitation um, so the idea of having diarrhea or constipation or any other kind of bug, uh, you're really avoiding that. Now the other pack, the potty pack, is more oriented towards, say, like I'm going to a concert this weekend and uh, they have porta potties there, but they also, um, you know, they, or you have kids in the car, um, so they actually give you a little bit more Give you a little bit more on that. What they give you, which is really cool, is to start off with, they give you a toilet seat cover. So you get a toilet seat cover. You put that down, and they give you four feet of toilet paper. So there you go, you get you got all cleaned up. And they give you, the again, the uh, individual flushable moist wipes to clean up. And another moist towelette and then some more Purell alcohol-based hand sanitizer. So that one's more oriented to where you aren't going to be taking it out. But yes, um, you know, you can always make these yourselves, but I don't know anybody that does. And they're really nice little packs. Um, 
they're already done. I think they're $2.50 a piece, but they come with everything and you don't have to go out and source a Purell. You don't have to get four feet of toilet paper. You don't have to get the flushable wipes or the bag. You don't have to do anything and they're already made up. So I already enjoyed these quite a bit. Um, got these stashed in the cars, these potty packs and a couple of the SHT kits. Um, in everybody's car now. Um, it's a big relief to actually have these nice little units all together. But I think the biggest thing is, is it's a part of backpacking that may not be addressed enough. I know some people, they will carry like the Purell hand sanitizer, but that's about it. It's such a big deal and you can really ruin your, your um, outing if something happens and that's where my first aid kit if you take a look at it, i'll put a link to the first aid kit there's things like emodium and constipation and pepto-bismol all those things are being addressed because it is the number two item that backpackers and hikers have that ruins their their week so please go take a look it's uh, pottypack.com uh, really awesome i know uh, they are all made in the usa and we got uh, one of the founders is a Navy guy. So uh, take a look at him. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Well, we'll see you out on the trail and hopefully not see any toilet paper on the trail. And I'll uh, see you later. Bye now.